Hello and welcome to another segment of Western Wisconsin Journal. I'm Jamie Johnson, the government legal and political correspondent and uh, today my guest is Michael Foley, although I guess we're going to call you Mike. So Mike Foley um, of Hudson and uh, we're going to talk about Mike and actually kind of introduce you as a new Western Wisconsin journalist. Is that right? That's right. Uh, yeah, I'll be hopefully doing some segments uh, as a host as well. Great. Well, uh, I wanted to talk about it a little bit, introduce you to our, our audience, and uh, so that way when they see you on here interviewing guests, they know who you are and what it's about. But let's just get into your background a little bit because I understand you've got kind of a new venture going uh, with uh, an electronic uh, news site. Sure. So, uh, first of all, uh, you, I know you're from Hudson now. Where were you born and raised? So, I grew up mostly in New Richmond. Um, uh, Went to school there, um, graduated, I did my last two years of high school in Cumberland. So I graduated from, from Cumberland High School. What year was that? 1998. Okay, so just trying to figure out how old you were. Yeah, so. I see what you're doing, I see what you're doing. All right, so <laughs> you went from Cumberland and then uh, you went in the military? Yep, I served in the, the Marine Corps for four years and I was a combat correspondent and I did journalism and, and public affairs for the military. Okay, and then once you got out of the military, then you went to school, I understand? Yep, I came back here to Wisconsin and uh, went to UW-River Falls and got my journalism degree. Okay. And uh, also during that time, I, I interned at the, the Red Wing newspaper and I had a part-time job with um, the St. Paul Pioneer Press. Okay, so uh, about what year was that that you got your undergrad, um, a bachelor's degree in journalism? Yeah, 2005, I finished up. Uh, I finished up college. Okay, and off camera you were telling me a little bit about your work experience. It's been very, tell us a little bit about how uh, from 2005 then take us up to the present on sure. your work experience. Well, my, my first job right out of college, I worked um, as a copy editor page designer at the Leader Telegram in Eau Claire. I was there for about a year and I kind of got the itch to, to head back out west. Out in the service, I, I was stationed in, uh, in San Diego and I just loved it out there. Okay. Uh, the closest I was able to get was in the middle of the desert in Palm Springs. So I was I was in Palm Springs for a while as a as a page designer and copy editor um, at the Desert Sun okay. there, and uh, and I did that for a few years, and, and then I decided to switch gears and uh, and go into public relations, and I found a job in Seattle doing work mostly for Microsoft, T-Mobile, and um, Amazon at a big PR agency. Okay. And then uh, after that, I, the Seattle scene was, was completely full of hyper-local blogs. Um, you know, the tech scene was big. And then I was also around, you know, 2008, 2009, when the social media scene was really, was really exploding and blogging right. was everywhere. And that really gave me a lot of inspiration to, to do what I did next, which was come back here and, and start Hudson Patch. Okay. Now, uh, some of our viewers might have recalled Hudson Patch, that was the uh, latter part of 2010 you started that? Yep, we launched it um, December 15th, 2010. Okay. But we really, a lot of people probably didn't notice us until um, the early 2011 with the, uh, the, the budget bill that Scott Walker was pushing through and a lot of teachers were upset about that. And I was doing videos um, at a lot of their protests and that caught a lot of attention and, and kind of catapulted me onto the scene, I think. So how many employees did you have working on Hudson Patch? So it was, it was just me doing all the news side of things and uh, we had a, an advertising salesperson who covered Hudson as, as well as a bunch of other communities. Okay, and uh, so you went from that and also in April of 2012 we had the referendum regarding the dog track and use as a potential school. That also fueled a lot of traffic to your site. Right. And so what then, um, it's not around anymore, so what led to kind of its demise? Well, I think, um, I mean, um, AOL is a really big company and that AOL is what owned Patch and they owned, you know, hundreds of sites across the country. And um, <coughs> I, I might not know for sure exactly what transpired, but I have a hunch that they just maybe grew a little too quickly. And um, some of the sites maybe weren't doing as well as, as the really engaged one we had here in Hudson, as well as Stillwater and Woodbury. Okay. Um, we had 26 sites in our Twin Cities metropolitan area right here. And not all of them were doing that well. And I, I feel like instead of 
cherry picking, you know, a few that were doing really well, they kind of just decided to shutter entire states. Okay. And instead, I mean, the sites are still there and you can still go there, but there's not, you're not going to find anything local there anymore. Okay. And so uh, did that kind of, well, after the Hudson patch, I understand you went to New Richmond News. Yep. So that's where your day job is now. Not, not anymore, actually. Okay. But um, so, yeah, I was fortunate enough to, you know, kind of escape that situation before everybody was laid off at Patch. And uh, Steve Zubay, the publisher of, of River Towns Multimedia, he was, you know, I was, I was really pleased to be able to, to get a job with the, at the New Richmond News as editor there. Okay. And I did that for, for a couple of years. And uh, now I'm, I'm working over across the river. My day job is uh, at MnDOT. Okay. And I'm an information officer for the research services all division. Right. So information, journalism, that's been basically all of your jobs, even going back to the military. Right. And so uh, now we're here to talk about you're going to join our staff here at Western Wisconsin Journal as well as starting this Hudsonite. Right. And so another electronic news site. And um, do you ex how do you expect it to be similar to Patch and how do you expect it to be different? Okay, well, it's, uh, I think in a lot of ways it'll be similar. Um, I'll be covering a lot of the big major news events here in town, uh, city council meetings, uh, fires, breaking news, and that sort of thing. Um, we'll have an events calendar that people can contribute their own events to. Um, we'll have commenting on the articles, so there can be a community discussion around what news is going on. Um, we'll also have, in a little way that's so different, we'll have just open forums where people can start a conversation about any topic of their choosing. Um, those are some of the, the key areas. A little bit different though is uh, it'll be locally owned and I'll be doing ad sales as well as my journalism side of things, which is a little bit out of my comfort area. All right, but starting with a one-man force then to get this off the ground. Yep, and, and it, it is gonna be my, my night job, not my day job, so I won't be able to chase stuff with quite the energy that I, I did when I was with Patch. All right, so this is going to not maybe grow as quickly as Patch did, but you never know. Right, but there's also opportunities for the for you know the users to submit their own things, and they can they can make it their own as well. And there's going to be ground rules. I know one of the things that comments people that I got about Patch was the anonymity thing, you know, where people were able to say anything they wanted and not have to assign their name to it. So it didn't matter whether it was true or not and they wouldn't take any heat if they just, you know, had more opinion or falsehoods than, than right. truth. Uh, it's unfortunately, there's no foolproof way to, to give people to, you know, enforce that real names are being used unless I ask everybody for a driver's license and a birth certificate before commenting on the site. And right. that would stifle any kind of discussion especially a heated one. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, people are heated about things, and I think, I think that's okay as long as they're civil with each other. And that's my role. That's where my role comes in to moderate these discussions and make sure that uh, people aren't crossing that line. And when they do, there needs to be consequences, either deleting of comments or outright banning IP addresses. Okay. So that's something that you can do from the tech end of things. Right. And because it's going to be your night job, uh, you may not have total 24-hour access to be able to do that, but it's something that is going to be monitored then. Right. And people and users can also flag comments if they find them inappropriate. And if it gets so many flags from users, it will temporarily go into a queue where it's not seen by everybody and it will flag out and, you know, it will flag it for me to take a look at. Okay. And if I say, oh, well, this got flagged and this really... People are just, you know, upset about this point of view, and it's not anything inflammatory. I might just say, okay, well, this is going to go back up. Okay. But if it does cross that line, it sure is going to sure. come down. Well, I remember. Uh, I mean, you were still up and going. In fact, Hudson Patch hosted um, one of the debates when for a school board in what was that March of 2013. Yep, we did a school board one. We also did uh, the first debate with between uh, Sheila Harsdorf and Shelley Moore okay. in the Senate recall election. Okay. So uh, your hope is to have similar news, um, um, and then any other areas that you're looking for contributions from folks on? 
but we'll have an area where anybody can submit a post. So if you have an announcement, um, a blog post, a, an opinion piece, anything like that, you can post it right along with the rest of the news. Of course, it'll come through me to moderate and make sure it's not some business saying sale, 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 or some other kind of spam. Right. Yeah. Um, it needs Earn to be, forty thousand in your own home two days a week or something. Exactly. It needs to be of community interest, not just a specific ask. Are you going to have things uh, categorized by subject matter so that people don't have to wade through a bunch of comments of, from on subjects that they don't care about, or they can just click on areas of interest? Or that seems to me to be the biggest job, isn't it, to kind of categorize different things? Or how how do you do that? Each post will have a category. Um, I'm, I'm still kind of wrestling what those might be. I'm thinking just to start, we'll probably have government politics as a category, uh, public safety and justice, probably one category. Okay. Arts and entertainment. Education. Education and, uh, yeah. All right. Schools in general. All right. Great. Um, tell us, what's going to be the site, or should people just Google Hudsonite? Well, it's just Hudsonite.com. So okay. That's pretty easy to remember. Yep. And... Um, so that's uh, H-U-D-S-O-N-I-T-E. Pretty, yep, pretty it's, it's what you call yourselves Hudson when you Knight. live here. Okay. Uh, anything else you wanted to say uh, uh, before we uh, sign off? Well, uh, as we sit here recording this, uh, we launch in, in, what, nine days, nine or ten days. So uh, people will be able to, you know, sign up for newsletters and follow us on social media. And uh, it's really about them being able to, to share what they know with the rest of the community. I want it to be more of a, a place where people feel like it's theirs. It's a community hub that they can take ownership of. Okay, great. That's, that's my goal for the, for the site. All right, and hopefully it, it generates a lot of good, positive uh, discussion in our community. Uh, so that's around August 15th, you would plan to launch it. So if you're watching this before the 15th, you just have to wait a couple days. Otherwise, if it's after August 15th, you should be able to just Google Hudsonite and, or just go straight to Hudsonite.com. All right. All right. Mike, thanks a lot. Appreciate Welcome it. aboard to the Western Wisconsin Journal family. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for joining us for another segment of Western Wisconsin Journal.